This is the game show in which daring determines the fate of the player. This is the game of strategy, luck, and knowledge. This is Bullseye. And here is your host, Eric Lima. And especially daring. And right to keep it suspense, we got two players waiting in the wings to uh, uh, play. Um, here we go. Uh, for our first player, we got um, uh, we got uh, Michael Bombardier all the way from Buffalo, New York. Mike, how you doing? I'm doing good, Eric. How are you? Good, good, good. Now, every I know who you are, but tell tell America a little bit about yourself. I sure will. My name. This is Mike Bombardier. I am from Buffalo, New York, as you said. Uh, I I work in the dairy frozen department at Tops now. So, uh, and every Thursday night, uh, I uh, I have the good fortune of co-hosting the Vanderbilt podcast alongside you. Yes, yes, indeed, my colleague and the ultimate uh, Tiffany Stratton hater. <laughs> so, so. But uh, that's okay because I don't like Tiffany Stratton either. I'd rather have uh, Gigi Dolan or Nikita Lyons, to be honest with you. But uh, I, uh, I, would have, I would rather have Ivy Nile. Ivy Nile? Okay. Well, uh, she's engaged to be married. But, uh, she got married, unfortunately. So that's what. Yeah, so, yeah. that lucky. That lucky dude. <laughs> um, so are you ready? Are you ready to play um, uh, some Bullseye? I sure am. All right, your opponent is none other than Alex Hool. Alex, how you doing there? I'm great, Eric. Thanks. All right, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, well, I'm Alex. I am originally from Florida, but now currently residing in South Carolina, and a huge good, good game show fan. Been loving them ever since I was a little kid, and right. um, and I also like watching cartoons and maybe hopefully one day i get to be like a little dream job on you like doing a little voice acting cartoons voice acting would be pretty cool you know you know you know that proves you don't have to have good looks to be a star you can do be a popular voice actor and, and do a good job with your voice acting that's pretty good so uh you ready to play some bullseye alex you know it all right, here's how our game works. As you know, up on our wheels, the top two will have categories, various denominations of money. The uh, bottom wheel will have a contract, one through five, and a bullseye. As you know, you can, uh, players receive money by correctly answering questions. The first player to bank $2,000, uh, not $2,000, $5,000 in this case, will win the game and will head on to our bonus round where they have an opportunity to win up to $50,000 in cash. So, are we ready to go? Ready. Yes, we are. Okay, I think we got to show the categories before we uh, get going. Yes, we do. And let's see what the categories are in the upper left-hand window we have. Various musicians. Nature. Big cities. And, so, and the solar system. Upper right-hand category. We have. Films. Basketball. Biology. And Eric's Wrestling Trivia, where I get to ask wrestling questions to see and test your knowledge of what questions I have. And plus, I'm watching AEW Dynamite tonight right now. So, I'll probably ask questions for, about wrestler from there. Who knows for sure. So, we're ready to go? We're ready. All right. Let's see who has control of the game. Oh, and then, of course, in the bottom window, as you said before, Eric. Oh, that's right. Bottom window. I was say the con... Um, you got a uh, contract one through five and a bullseye up there. Oh, if you hit the bullseye, you can go as long as you can. You can stop after having one question. All right, you ready to go? Okay. Ready? Let's... All right, Michael, you are in the left-hand position. You got control. Ready to go? I'm ready. All right, you will hit. You will hit that button to stop the information. Let's spin the information. All right, the board will cover it up. Michael, whenever you're ready, alert our friend Scott to um, hit the button, and let's see if we can. Get something going here. Thank you, Eric. Um, stop. And you got solar system, seven hundred dollars question. Alex, wrestling trivia, three hundred dollars question. Contract is four questions. Ooh, it's a big one. I'll yeah. take Eric's wrestling trivia for three hundred, please. Okay. 
Okay, here we go now for four contract the four listen up. As I'm seeing, Sue is pulling up with the best friends. All right. Now one of the best friends is Trent Beretta. What tag team was he part of in the WWE? Oof. Brent Beretta. I don't know. Okay, control goes over to Alex. Alex, do you know? Hmm. I'm afraid I don't know. Okay, the correct answer was the Dude Busters with, with Kalen Croft. Ooh. So, all right, so control goes back over to Michael. Alrighty then. As you know, uh, we saw now Chuck Taylor. Right? What organization was Chuck Taylor uh, a prominent member? Wrestling organization was Chuck Taylor a prominent member of before he broke into AEW? You know. Was it Pro Wrestling Gorilla? Ooh, you know what? No, I, I'm going to have to. No, not it. Alex, do you know? Alex, do you know? Is it Pro Wrestling gr gr Gorilla? Oh, I'm sorry. That is not the answer I was looking for. The correct answer is Chikara. Uh. Chikara. All right. All right. All right. Here we, here we go. Now we see Malachi Black in action right now. Which current WWE female superstar he's married to? Selena Vega. Correct. All right. That's his one. Three and out the pot. Three questions left in the contract. All right. Um, as you know, there's Buddy Matthews in, in that ring. Now, which title did Buddy Matthews hold in the WWE? Two titles, actually. Name one of the two titles he held in the WWE. Except one. The, the Cruiserweight Championship. All right. That's, that's correct. We did put another $300 in the pot. And uh, two questions left in the contract. The other was NXT. Uh, with Wesley Blake. With Wesley Blake. That's right. Did he, um, did he also hold the Raw tag titles with Seth Rollins? That's, that was the other t Thank you very much. Okay. So, so there was three. There was three. I thought there were two. My mistake. But you answered the question correctly. Though. That's all that mattered. All right. Two more to complete the contract here. Uh, let's see if I can come up with a good one here. All righty. Julia Hart, before... Uh, uh, you know that Julia Hart, even though with the last name, she is not related to the Hart family, and she's not from Canada. You know which state she's originally from would that be minnesota that's correct that's another 300 dollars in the pot one more to complete the contract and uh here we go now we saw uh um, we saw earlier tonight um ricky starks getting uh blindsided in the ring by juice robinson which title did Ricky Starks hold in AEW? The FTW Championship. That is correct. All right. You completed the contract. Um, I you screwed up. Ooh. Hang on. Technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Oh, uh. crazy. <laughs> All right. Contract is complete. All right, Michael, you have $1,200 in the pot. You can take that. You can bank it right now. If you do, control goes over to Alex. Or do you like to keep it in the pot and play on? What's your decision? We're going to play on. Play on. All right. Let's spin the information up on the board run once again. Mike, whenever, uh, Mike, whenever you're ready, hit the button and uh, tell Scott when to stop the board. Let's see. Stop. All right, stop the board. Maybe positions, positions, $500 a question. Technology, seven hundred dollars a question. Contract is two questions. All right, kind of a tough choice there, Mister uh, Here, what what do you try? What do you think that suits you better? I'll take famous musicians for five hundred. All right, famous musicians for five hundred dollars. All right, here's your first question in famous musicians. Rio, you to a kill the reflex. Were songs of what newly minted 
of what newly minted Hall of Fame rock group? Thinking. Yes. No. Incorrect. Alex. Alex, you got control. Again, Rio, View to a Kill, The Reflex, were songs uh, performed by what newly minted Rock and Roll Hall of Fame group? I believe that is Dur Duran Duran. Correct. You got one. You got one. You got 17 rounds in the pot. One question to go in the contract. All right. Which of the Spice Girls is married to a soccer, a soccer star player? I believe it was Victoria Beckham. That's correct. You completed the contract. <laughs> uh, David Beckham, you are correct. She's married to Dave, soccer star David Beckham. $2,200 in the pot. Alex, you got $2,800 more, more dollars than you need for $5,000. You can take the money. You can bank it. If you do, control goes back to Michael. Or do you want to leave it in the pot and play on? What's your decision? Uh, let's go ahead and play on. All right. Let's do that then. Scott, spin the information for our friend here. Once again, the information is spinning. Whenever you're ready, Alex, hit that button. Determine your fate. And stop. All righty then. You've got nature, seven hundred dollars a question. Biology, four hundred dollars a question. Hope you got some good ones, Scott. And you got a contract of two. <sighs> All right. Um, let's try. Four hundred dollars with biology. All right, biology, biology. All right, I gotta get, come in with a good one here. Otherwise, I got some for you. Okay, Scott, why don't you? Uh, I'm I, my co-host Scott's got some biology questions for you. So, Scott, what you got for uh, Alex here? All right. Say he's, oh, say he's. A second here. Ah, there is my biology questions already. So, Alex, you're in control here. Here is the first question I got for you under biology. Alex, as we know, humans have just one stomach. But how many stomachs does a cow have? Is it four? It is four. Uh, you complete another uh, four hundred dollars in the pot, twenty six hundred dollars. One more to complete the contract, and to get this question correct, you will um, complete the contract. If not, Michael gets control. Scott, go ahead. Alrighty, Alex, where would you find the smallest bone in the human body? To complete the contract, where is it? <sighs> hmm. I believe, if I remember, I believe it's in the ear. Questioning it. But you don't have anything to question because you're right. You are correct. You are correct. You have $400 to complete the contract. Alex is now $3,000 in the pot right now. Take it. You can bank it. If you do, control's all over the Michael. Or you want to still keep it in the pot. You need $2,000 more to win the game. What is your decision? All right. Um, let's go ahead and bank it. All right. Bank it. All right. You're going to bank the money. All right. Alex is banking the money. $3,000 is in there. need $2,000. The control goes over to Michael, though. Michael, you're back in track here. Spend the information for Michael on the board. Let's see what he can do. All righty then. Michael, determine your fate by hitting that button. Alrighty. Stop. Stop the board. You got Solar System. Three hundred dollars a question. Eric Wrestling Trivia. Four hundred more. Question. Contract is four questions. I got a hunch. I know where you're gonna go with this. Eric Wrestling Trivia for four hundred. Alrighty. Alex Wrestling. Eric's Wrestling Trivia for four hundred dollars a question. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk some WrestleMania recently. As you know, there were a lot of WrestleMania debuts. In, in, among the women's division. 
Name one. Name two of any of the ladies that made their WrestleMania debut, and you'll get it right. From this year's WrestleMania, this past WrestleMania. This past year's? Or... Okay. Recent WrestleMania we have. Is it me? Eos. Eo Sky and Dakota Kai. Yep, that's two. Yeah, actually, actually, you got one right. But the but Dakota Kai. Well, we'll count Dakota Kai. Why not? Well, we'll count her. Yeah, yeah, we'll count her. Right. She okay. did. She did make her debut at the kickoff show a few years back in the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. But actually, the main on the main card, I should have been more specific with the main card. So I'm going to give it that one to you. So before right. now, it's the pot. <laughs> Far enough for the pot, you got one. All right, you got four, three more to complete the contract. Now, we're talking about EO Sky. As you know, she wrestled under a different name in a, a different televised organization in Lucha Underground. What was her name? Lucha Underground. I want to say her NXT name, but I'm not sure. Oh, what the heck. Io Shirai. No, that is not correct, though. That was her name in NXT. That was her name. They could throw it over to Alex. Uh, Alex. Yeah. Alex, do you know? Alex, do you know? I'm afraid I don't. All right. The name was Hitokiri. Oh. Hitokiri. Hitokiri. So, yeah. Um, yeah. She was part of the Black Lotus Triad. All right. Okay, uh, Michael, go back to you. We got three questions still left in the contract. Uh, as you know, um, um, as you know, later on tonight, Jamie Hayter will defend her title against Riho and uh, for the uh, women's championship. Now, Rio is the inaugural champion. Who did Rio defeat? To become the inaugural AEW Women's World Champion. Would that be Nyla Rose? That would be correct. Let's put four hundred more dollars in the pot. Eight hundred dollars. The contract two in the pot. Two left in the contract. All right. Uh, two left in the contract. Um, as you know, we're about to see Christian Cage come out to uh, break his silence. But however, uh, but however. Which um, which title did he hold in his in ring debut in the WWE? Which title did he win in his in ring debut in the WWE? I have an idea. The Intercontinental Championship. Afraid that is not correct. The trouble goes over to wow. Alex. Wow. Uh, Alex, do you know? Which title did Christian Cage win in his WWE in-ring debut? I don't know this one either. I think, okay, it I was think the WWE Euro European w nope. Light Heavyweight Championship mm -hmm. before it was the, uh, World, the WWE Light Heavy, Heavyweight Championship. It was uh, he beat defeated Takamichi Naku for that championship? All right, we still got two questions in the contract here. Uh, now. There was a couple of moves named after the Ultimate Dra Dragon's real last name. Can you name one of them? Uh, the the Dragon Sleeper. No, that's not it, though. Good nice guess. It was not. Did, did use all those moves? I'm talking about his real last name. Oh, Do you know. Uh... The uh, dragon screw. Oh, that was great. Moodish move, actually. Control goes back over to Michael. The correct answer would be either the Asai DDT or the Asai Moonsaw. Asai was Ultimate Dra Dragon's Ultimate Dragon's oh. real last name. I don't know if you guys, you guys didn't know. Oh, yeah. Asai Moonsaw, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. Alrighty then. Alright. As you know, uh, Kairi Sane. As you know, won two tournaments 
and became the inaugural winner in two of those tournaments. You know the Mae Young Classic was one of them. What was the other one? Honestly. It would have to be somewhere in Japan, if I, I assume. Uh, That's correct. Um, that is correct so far. You get, you're getting warmer there. Which tur which tournament? A new Japan Women's Cup? I don't know. Oh uh, no! Close, close. Alex, you're in control. I'm trying to get recent. Trying to make it recent. Alex, do you know? Uh, I'm just gonna take a stab. The the uh, the IWGP. I don't know. You 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 got you got it there. It's a it, it, oh, we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. The IWGP Women's Championship. We'll give it to you. We'll oh. Give it to you. Put another four hundred dollars in the pot. <laughs> All right. Very very good one. All right, and at least one more to complete the contract here. All right. Now, prior to, um, um, let's see. We're going to talk about the Intercontinental Championship history here. As you know, Uter is at 299 days as Intercontinental Champion. Who holds the record for the most days uninterrupted as Intercontinental Champion? This is just a complete guess. The uh, the honky tonk man. You are correct. You complete. Uh, what? I thought you didn't know that. I thought you didn't know it. I'm I'm very impressed. Sixteen hundred dollars in the pot. Oh, Alex, you completed the contract. Yeah, sixteen hundred dollars in the pot. You could bank that if you are. You're four hundred dollars shy away from five thousand dollars. Or would you like to leave it in the pot and make um. Play on. What do you want to do? If you bank it, control goes over to Michael. You have to make him work for it. I'll play on. Oh, he's going to play. He's going to risk $1,600. Let's spin the information up once again. Everything is covered up. All right, Alex, whenever you're ready, hit that button. Let's see what you get. And stop. All right, you got famous musician, $700 a question. Expressly trivia, trivia, $600 a question. That's going to be a tough one. And three questions. Oof, well, the one right. can help you win the game, I think. No, actually, yeah. What do you think? Sixteen hundred dollars in the pot. Try... All right, I'm gonna try the seven hundred on the famous musician. All right, famous musicians once again at seven hundred dollars a question in the contract. Which famous musician is Alexa Bliss married to? Ooh. I have never heard of her. Um, She's wrestling WWE. She recently got married, and, his, and her husband is a music, one of famous musician. Who is he? <sighs> I'm afraid I don't know this one. All right, control, control, goes over, control, control goes over to Michael. Michael, you got control. Who is it? Ryan Cabrera. Ryan Cabrera is correct. You got all right. We went out twenty at seven hundred dollars in the pot, twenty three hundred dollars in the pot two to complete the contract. Alrighty then. Um let me come up with a good one. Here we go. As you know, Bill and Ted, Bill and Ted's bogus journey, sequel to Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, had one hit song at the end of the of the movie. It's called God Gave Rock and Roll to You. Which famous musician band played that song? Oof. I don't know. You too? Oh, no, no, no. Control goes over to Alex. Alex, do you know? 
Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey was a song called God Gave Rock and Roll to You. At the end of the movie, which band performed that song? Was it Kiss? That is correct, Ad. Another $700 to the pot. That was a chunk of that. Dang it. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, you got one more question. Now, here's the deal. Answer this question correctly, Alex. You win the game. If not, Michael gets control. All right, here's the final question. See if you get it. Um, you all know, besides the Spice Girls, there are a lot of girl bands out there. One of the girl bands was known for a couple of uh, for a couple of covers in the eighties. Venus, Nah Nah, Hey Hey, hey Kiss Them Goodbye. But also, they were famous for their other song, "Cruel Summer." For the game, name this band. I hope it's Banana Rama. You completed the contract. You won the oh game. Oh my god, he knew it! I put it down. Bank six thousand seven hundred dollars total. Congratulations, Alex. Who? You I said you two. That completely cost me. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go talk to you, Alex, in just a moment as we get ready for our bonus round. Michael, I knew the YouTube question did, did cost you, but you did have you did make a good effort putting money in the bank, but you you took a risk. But then one one question cost you in the end, and Alex took control of the pot and ended up winning the money. Did you have a good time though? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Michael, for coming in. We have some parting gifts for you. Thank you so much for playing Bullseye. Let's hear from Michael Mabardi here. Mikey Bombs, ladies and gentlemen. And see, check him out on Rant and Rave alongside myself tomorrow night at 8 on the Brandon Martin channel. Oh. For you. Thank you for playing Bullseye. All right. When we come back, Alex is going to play our bonus round to see if he can try to win up to $50,000. Can he do it? Can he avoid the lightning? We'll be right back right after this. All right. Welcome back to Bullseye and Alex, who are our champion at $6,700. Alex, it's time for you to do um go and try to be daring and brave the elements for fifty thousand dollars. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's play the bonus round. Come on over. All right. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes the theme will stop. All right, Alex, welcome to our bonus island. Here's where you can win a lot of money, up to $50,000 if you get extremely lucky. Behind those swirls are various denominations of money. There are bullseyes up there. Behind one of them is that roll rotten lightning. You hit the button to stop that whatever money you accumulate in the pot, you can bag it at any time if you want to quit or you want to keep going. Uh, if you keep going, get three bullseyes up there, we'll double the pot. If you survive 10 spins while being struck by lightning, it's $25,000. Three bullseyes in one spin will be $50,000. Uh, some people have done it before. I don't know. But if you hit lightning along the way, you lose. Ready to go, Alex? I'm ready. All right. Whenever you're ready, stop them. Stop them whenever you want to. Let's get some bullseyes and some money. Please, no lightning. Let's go. And stop it. All right. We're stopping the board. You got 250 bucks. It's 750 more for 1000 And 750 more. 1750 Now. 1750 in the pot. No bullseyes up there, but lots of money. You can stop right now. Bank the 1750 for um for yourself. Quit the game right now, or you can try and be daring and go for your second spin. There's no bullseyes up there. Hit lightning in the next spin, and you'll lose it. What do you want to do? Let's go for my second spin. All right, he's going to be daring. Scott, spin the information up on the board. Somewhere up there is lightning. We don't want it. We want some money and some bullseyes. Let's go whenever you're ready. Hit the button. And stop. All right, hit the button again. You've got a bullseye. Come on. Oh, two of them. One oh. more. Oh. Oh. Oh, $500. $2250. Now you got two bullseyes up there. You can take the money. You can bank it right now. Or try and be daring and go for your third spin. What do you want to do? Right, I'm going to go for my third spin here. 
All right, we got two bullseyes up there. You want to freeze either one of them or freeze both of them? What do you want to do? Let's go ahead and freeze for both of them. Both bullseyes. All right, Scott, freeze those two bullseyes. Those bullseyes will not spin, so if lightning's back there, you're safe. You one of those two windows. Let's spin the bottom window. That's the only window we need to worry about. B250 on the line. Get a, get a third bullseye there. We'll double the pie. Stop! Stop, and... Seven fifty, three thousand dollars Let's go for my fourth spin. Let's go. All righty then. Fourth spin. Let's go. Spin number four. Doubling the pot. If you get a third bullseye up there. Let's see what you got. Thirty seven fifty now with that with that, with that uh seven fifty dollars. Now what do you want to do? You wanna try and be daring and go for your fourth spin number four? Or you wanna take the money and quit? What do you wanna do? You mean my fifth spin. Fifth spin, okay. Oh, good. Somebody kept track because I didn't. <laughs> Alright, uh well, let's go for my fifth spin. Oh I spin that bottom wheel for his fifth spin. We're going for it. Let's go. <sighs> Oh! Bullseye! Double the pop! It's $6,500 in the pot. Congratulations. We double, no, $7,500 in the pot. Congratulations. How do you feel? Great. All right, so your grand total winnings, along with the $6,700 you won in the game, it is $14,200 in cash. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, you almost hit three bullseyes in one spin for $5,000. We have froze the top two. The bottom one was still active. Would you like to find out where that lightning was? Yeah, let's see where that lightning is. Now, where was the lightning? Let's let's spin the information. If I'm all, uh, not cover it up. Where was the lightning? Oh, 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 oh. oh you were daring. <laughs> you were daring and it was in the Laura window. Oh. You were daring, Alex. That's the uh, game of daring right there. You were daring. You would have been, you would have been struck. Uh, you would have been struck by lightning. Oh my goodness! You were playing with fire up there. Oh, you had a lot of money on the line, but you did it. But the, you, what counts is you got that bullseye. And that's what, that's all that matters. So, congratulations, Alex. Fourteen thousand two hundred dollars. Did you have a good time, Alex? I did. Yeah. All right. That's excellent. Uh, congratulations to you. Thank you for coming on the show. Well, this is Eric Lima, and uh, I want to thank uh, Scott Michaels for helping me out with the questions. And I want to thank our, our lovely audience for tuning in and, and cheering on Alex. And I want to thank Michael Mavardia, too, for playing a great game. This is Eric Lima uh, saying good night and, so and hope everything you're going for hits the bullseye. See you. Bye bye. We can do anything that we want to do. <laughs> This is Kevin Henry speaking for Bullseye, a David 3000 Network production presentation. Don't forget to subscribe to the David 3000 Network for great more content like this one.